what's up guys today we'll see what is a boundary layer theory now let's start it so uh, first the boundary layer theory was first invented by Al Prender in 1904 uh, Ludwig Prender so how uh, what is the theory let's get started right so first any fluid passing from any solid surface here our fluid is a passing with a v naught initial velocity of v naught passing over this plate now what happens when any fluid pass over a surface its particle get stick to it now this is the this portion we will see this portion magnifyingly so what happens any surface it is actually hills and valleys peaks and valleys over there because surface unevenness <clears throat> until the, uh, due to this what happens in between two uh, these kinds of fields mm, inside uh, water or any fluid I get trapped in between these so it is in the stagnation uh, stagnation mode or you can say its velocity is zero because in between the fluid is flowing with wave velocity but due to this due to this object or resistance it unable to flow so velocity at this point v is equal to zero so now what happens see first particles it means all particles at here this all particles have zero velocity zero velocity all particles have the zero velocity why because they are very near to the surface and due to that what happens they get stick to the surface as i mentioned earlier they get trapped in between that hills and valleys so due to that it get uh, its velocity is equal to v is equal to zero now see what happens in between and another thing is that uh, the two atoms the atoms of any plate plate and the atoms of fluid they affect they attract each other with the cohesive force so due to this cohesive force it get stick to the surface now one another thing is that the fluid particle the same fluid particle also feels some force known as the cohesive forces it means cohesive force work between the same particles or same molecules or same material so see at y is equal to zero this is our vertical height v y just first draw of particle are stagnant now this particle is a moving it just edges and particle upper side of this is going with a v velocity or v naught velocity that we call it a free stream velocity v naught is equal to v max is equal to v free stream velocity it means velocity at which velocity the fluid is moving now um, where we are yes here now it is flowing with a v velocity but at point at this perfect point what happens they feels the cohesive force it means due to this uh, due to that cohesive forces this particle adjacent particle feels a force it is here it means v velocity v is equal to zero and here v is equal to v max so due to the inertia effect they get stick to each other so this will reduce the magnitude of this particle so simultaneously say for example this is uh, 1 meter per second uh, 0 meter per second it means stagnant then 1 2 3 and gradually it reach to the free stream velocity it means 
ड्यू टू द इनर्शिया इफेक्ट इनर्शिया इफेक्ट मीट वॉट एक्जैक्टली फर्स्ट इट स्टिक बट इट हैज सम वेलासिटी सो वट हैपन्स वंस इट हैज सम वेलासिटी इट हैज सम मोमेंटम एंड अदर साइड द फोर्स कोहेसिव फोर्स द एट्रैक्ट टू एट्रैक्ट दैट पार्टिकल सो इन बिटवीन द क्रिएट अ एग्जैक्ट प्रोफाइल ऑफ वेलासिटी दैट इज नोन एज अ वेलासिटी क्रीडियन right here we have the velocity gradient now what happens this are the first row of particle then second then third and and the arrow the length of arrow represents the particle speed it is gradually start with the zero increase 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 and finally they get the free stream velocity v is equal to v not now the force acting in between these particles it is known as a shear force or shear stress so this is our surface this is surface action at y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 the shear stress is maximum tau is equal to tau not now but the gradually as your velocity increase to the free stream velocity your shear stress gradually decreasing 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 and reaches to the zero it is reached to the zero when the particles gain the free stream velocity and the thickness it is vary from its tip i mean initial point of the plate to the last point so say we represent the length of plate as a x so gradually your x increasing your vela your delta now what is this exactly delta the delta means the velocity of particle becomes a free stream velocity means all particles at exactly this line have the free stream velocity is all particles have the free stream velocity in between this zone it is gradually increasing so the length vertical direction in length that is y at whatever y the velocity of any particles becomes the free stream velocity that is known as delta we represent it by the delta that is the y here so this is our delta exactly uh, this is delta it looks very bad yes so here our velocity u is equal to f of y means velocity at any point is exactly function of y in a vertical direction because as i mentioned earlier the velocity is a gradually increasing and the shape is a parabolic shape and this is the exact derivative of it and it got the linear curve so when you differentiate this means the differentiation of the velocity gradient gives you the shear force that is the newton's law of viscosity i mentioned uh, it in later on or it may be in another video but uh, let's start with our boundary layer stick to the boundary layer theory only so uh, where we are yeah v is equal to y of f it means the u that is a velocity is a function of y i hope you got it now yeah here we have the velocity gradient it leads to the your shear force what is it newton's law of viscosity says tau is equal to is directly proportional to the velocity gradient du by dy so that's it and and and, and yes so 
when you magnify the boundary layer there are mainly three zones in a boundary layer first in this zone the fluid is a, it is a laminar flow in between this first it starts from here to a certain point it has a laminar zone it means in between this zone the flow characteristics are laminar flow after that a transient zone it means here you can see the transient zone here is a transient zone it means it has some laminar flow but some eddies are created and due to that the flow get disturbs uh, so it is in between the turbulent flow and laminar flow and here we have the after that completely turbulent flow it means the complete turbulent over there there is no laminar flow everything is eddies and water particles are not following the proper path and just randomness but in between that there is at the lower side very 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 thin layer of sublaminar zone is also existing it means the outer side as uh, in turbulent zone very near to the surface this very small zone very very small thickness but that is a laminar zone known as a sublaminar zone sublaminar zone now why happens like this see it has this particle stick to it now it initially we have the maximum amount of it means at y is equal to 0 we have the maximum amount of we have maximum amount of shear force and due to that shear force due to that shear force uh, it uh, velocity is gradually it is very very low velocity so it follows the laminar flow characteristic but it gradually increasing then the randomness of the system increases and it becomes the turbulent it is a little bit difficult to explain the turbulent flow because it is just randomness you can't explain the randomness but uh, though you can google it i mean if you want then uh, fluid by sanjil i think so yeah, yeah fluid by sanjil so you refer that book sanjil Yunus sanjil good one for fluid thermodynamics and hd yeah we have yes now the boundary conditions now what happens see at this point starting point right at this point v is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 a velocity is also 0 at starting point here velocity is also 0 and the height of delta is 0 now at any delta position that is take this this at any delta position we have y is equal to delta and v is equal to v naught that is the free stream velocity and at y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 means this one just adjacent layer of the plate at this exactly this layer y is equal to 0 tau is equal to maximum maximum shear force <coughs> because the gradient is maximum it means what is the gradient means here particle at stick to here so zero velocity and it has some velocity but basically with we are differentiating with respect to zero it is it means it is a basically maximum potential uh, maximum difference or maximum gradient is available you have so you will get a maximum shear force tau is equal to tau max and at y is equal to delta it means at any delta position you have a minimum shear stress tau is equal to tau minimum now uh, see these uh, zones in a pipe 
when flow flowing from the pipe here here is a fluid surface so velocity gradient is like a parabolic shape cross section is parabolic shape but actually it is a paraboloid in three dimensional it means you just rotate this shape in 360 degree and you get the paraboloid so it has that kind of characteristic why because velocity is equal to here velocity is equal to zero and here is a maximum velocity that is v is equal to v naught that is the free stream velocity so finally you got a curve we have seen earlier it is a parabolic uh, gives the parabolic curve so parabolic curve this side parabola this side parabola and you rotate it because it is it's a pipe so 360 rotated by 360 it is not our uh, possible to show here in a three dimensional because my drawing is not that much good but that is the another another thing but uh, yeah this is the paraboloid and and and, and yes shear force now at this surface velocity is equal to zero adjacent velocity so maximum shear force and you have here exactly at this point free stream velocity so shear stress is equal to minimum and once again it increasing 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 so because here is also a, a stagnation layer of fluid here is also stagnation layer of fluid in between this has the maximum potential um, maximum possible velocity so the diagram of shear force it looks like this so that's it so thanks for watching thanks and don't forget to like share subscribe and comment on my video and thank you thanks for watching bye have a great day